Before we continue documenting this plan, like putting dimensions, putting levels, I would recommend us to create some layouts, place those drawings into the layout, and then go back to finish documenting. The reason is because by then we're going to know what scale we're going to be documenting, how far can we go with the dimensions here without getting out of the sheet. So to do that here on the organizer, we're going to have on the left hand side, the view map with all the views that we have saved. And on the right, we're going to have the layout book. So the layout book has the layouts that came already with the template and some master layouts. So how does that work? If I double click here in one of the layouts, you will see that we have a drawing that is placed here in the middle of the sheet. And we have in red a reference of one of the master layouts. On this case, this layout is following the A2 landscape master layout, which is this guy here. So basically, we can choose which master layout we want our layouts to follow. So if I click here and change it to A1 landscape, now this layout is using the A1 landscape master layout. If I click here and change it to A3, we are now following the A3. I'm going to go back to the A2. You will notice that all of those sheets are following the same master, which means that if I go here and double click in this master and edit anything, like let's delete this logo and go back here to one of the layouts, the logo will be gone. So this is great because you can have 100 layouts following the same master. And if you have to change something, the master, all the layouts will be updated automatically. So let's take a look in one of those master layouts. If I double click here, you will notice that the master layout is made of 2D elements only. So basically this is line, this is a polyline, those are text, and this is a 2D object. You will notice that the 3D tools here on the design toolbox are gray because they are deactivated, but I still have the object tool because in the object tool here, we will find some 2D library. So if I click here on the 1.7, we have electrical symbols, which we don't want, but we have graphical symbols that are very useful, including some parts of the title block, like revision history, graphical symbols, bands and colors, and some surface legend. But I'm not going to use any of those right now. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel these. And to draw here on the master layout, we're going to be using mostly those 2D elements. And they're very straightforward. They're just like drawing the walls or drawing the slabs when I'm doing fills. Same thing for the polyline. So no big deal. One thing you do need to know is how to use some auto text you will notice that a lot of those tags are already filled and they come from the project information that we did right at the beginning of the project. So I'm going to create some text here, create a window here and start typing something like project. And instead of typing the name of the project, I'm going to use the auto text. So the auto text is this icon here on the top. I'm going to click on it. And now ArchiCAD is give me a list of the auto text that I can choose from. So starting on project details, site details, building details. So all the information that we have filled right at the beginning on the project info. So I'm going to go here to project details, choose the project name, which is here. And I'm going to go ahead and press insert. There we go. So if at any point we go back to the project information, and we change the name of the project, this will be updated automatically on every master layout and naturally on every layout. And this is great. So everything is interconnected. If one day your company changed the telephone number, you go to the project info, change there, and it's going to be changed in all the layouts. So what other auto text that are really useful here we need to know? So let's go down a little bit. I'm going to click here on the auto text button again. And we have the information that we have typed on the project info, but we also have some other information about the layout, for instance, where we have the layout name, the layout number that is automatically filled here. We can also have some information about the drawings, like what is the drawing scale? So we don't need to type the scale here on the sheet. And you can also have some information about the system, like what date is today, long or short? What is the file name? 
or what is the file path. So those are really useful stuff and what time it is right now. So when you publish, you can have the current date and the current time.